hello and welcome back everybody to another youtube video in today's video i will explain and solve problem set 5 refueling so in this problem we want to develop a program that runs uh, some test cases on this code here but first let's actually restruct uh, our code per uh, these three functions Okay, so let's start with the gauge function. Okay, let's copy this from here. Okay, without the percentage. Okay, and let's replace uh, the print functions with the return. And don't forget to modify this condition. Uh, to also print uh, or return f if it's equal to 1999 or and also uh, return e if it's equal to 1 okay let's also return here and now let's um, uh, let's modify our convert function here so let's take the rest of the code and paste it here so the convert function uh, takes a parameter which is this the the input from the user so we need to add this to the main function and when we call the convert function we will pass in num okay let's uh, modify this before uh, modifying our main function but since we uh, move this line of code here uh, we will modify this condition so if x is more than y we want to ask the user for a fraction again so num equal input and after that let's continue so in this iteration and start a new iteration and let's actually Move this line of code inside the try. So try. So if x is greater than y, we will ask the user again for a fraction. And else, the percentage would be equal the fraction multiplied by 100. And let's then return percentage. so now this function is also ready so let's modify the main function so the convert function returns the percentage which we will need to pass inside the gauge function so let's store the return value in a variable let's call it um, percentage and then call the function gauge that uh, will return us the percentage or f or e so let's test this code before moving on to uh, modify the test cases so python okay let's try yeah we forgot to print uh, the return value from this function so let's try again okay now it's working let's try so yeah our code here is working so let's move on to the test fuel uh, program so let's first uh, import uh, the two functions we have here so convert and gauge so from fuel import 
convert gauge. Okay, let's define our main function. Then uh, let's define another two functions. So let's um, name the first one test convert, and we will test uh, the convert function here. And our last function is test gauge, and we will uh, run some test cases on the gauge function here. So let's here uh, call our functions. And test gauge. Okay, now let's run some tests. So um, let's call convert function and pass in one over two. So since uh, convert returns the percentage uh, without uh, the format here, like F or E or uh, the percentage sign so we will check if it's equal to 50 without uh, any uh, further modifications in this uh, output okay let's uh, copy this line and try uh, 1 over 4 this should be equal to 25 okay let's also test uh, 1 over 100 and this should equal to uh, 1 and our last so 99 okay let's move on to the test gauge function so you can just copy this lines of code and now Okay, maybe not because you will edit a lot so now we need to pass in a value like 50 for example and we expect uh, the output to be 50 percentage with a percentage sign after the number so 50 here should output 50 percentage but in uh, string let's see if, uh, if we pass in one we should uh, expect to see e and the same for 99 we should expect f without the percentage so okay let's uh, stop here and uh, run pytest on this file okay every test case uh, passed so uh, we actually need to check uh, for uh, errors like value error or zero division error so if you read the documentation uh, linked in the program uh, you will see that we will need to uh, write code like this so with and we will use uh, the pytest uh, module Okay, let's first import it. PyTest. And let's here use the function raise or raises, I think. And type in value error. Yeah, but without the quotation marks actually. So just like that. and we need to call our function convert and for a value error to occur um, yeah let's pass in cat for example and a dog okay so this should work uh, and also let's check for zero division error And let's uh, pass in this time uh, a number 
over zero. But in order for this to work, uh, we will need to also modify our file here. So if there is a value error or a zero division error, we will actually use uh, raise. So now uh, this will work uh, if we uh, evaluate value error or a zero division error. So let's uh, run PyTest before uh, checking with the check 50. So PyTest and our file here. Okay, we passed every test. So let's now use check 50. So yeah, as you can see, we passed every test here, including catching uh, the zero division error and uh, a value error in convert function. So yeah, we, uh, we are done here. So thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos.